Cancer is by far the leading cause of cancer death among all Americans. And while the stats are a reminder of the severity of the disease, advances in lung cancer treatments are helping change the outcome for providing much needed hope for all diagnosed patients. The FDA has added another therapy that's a real game changer for patients with small cell lung cancer. Joining me to talk more on this treatment is Dina, a smoker diagnosed with small cell lung cancer, and her oncologist, Dr. Keith of Wilson Regional Center. We all know so many people who experience the negative side effects of chemotherapy. Some even say the treatment is as bad or worse than the disease. You now have a new treatment for the side effects of some chemo, specifically for small cell lung cancer patients. What impact will this have on a patient's experience? So small cell lung cancer is one of the common forms of lung cancer. It's a very aggressive treatment. We've actually had many highly effective drugs for this cancer for years, in fact, decades. However, our ability to deliver these dr chemotherapeutic drugs in patients has been limited by toxic side effects. And, of course, uh, any drug, uh, we desire them to... Uh, kill, kill or affect the bad cell and to leave the good cells alone. But that's been the problem with chemotherapy. Frequently, it interacts with the, the, the good cells creating side effects as well as the bad cells, which elicits the desired response of killing the cancer. So when patients take chemotherapy, if they get nausea, gastrointestinal distress, fatigue, malaise, low blood counts, anemia, fever, and hair loss. Um, it's because these drugs are attacking the good cells as well as the bad cells. So some people say that the cure is worth is the disease, worse than the disease, so they actually choose not to take the treatment. And others start the treatment, but due to side effects, they have to go off it uh, early. So the ability to modulate or minimize the side effects of older drugs, which are very effective, was very important. Dina, you are a small cell lung cancer patient. Tell us your story. It has, the first round of chemo was uh, typically really bad, the way Dr. Lero described it. But the second round, um, because of, of uh, research and um, the things they are coming out with now, my second round was very, very well. It was much, much better than the first round. And I thank the researchers for that because this drug is amazing. And it has done wonderful things for me because I was able to do to get myself back from where I was the first uh, in the beginning I was able to get up I was able to do things I was able to go places I was able to play with my grandchildren I was able to talk on the phone things that I couldn't do before I'm able to do now and I thank the researchers for that why is research funding so vital as Dina mentioned some people say in cancer research is life and for her we can see how the advent of new drugs has greatly enhanced her experience um, this need for further research and further breakthroughs and uh, one can if, if, if one is interested uh, the lung cancer foundation of america is a great resource and one can reach them at lcfamerica.org to support their mission of uh, research and otherwise helping uh, patients with lung cancer. Thanks for coming on today.